Thank you Mr. very Speaker. much. I call Stuart Smith. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Well, it's a pleasure to speak on the Energy Innovation Electric Vehicles and Other Matters Amendment Bill. Um, this is about innovation, Mr Speaker, and if we cast our minds back uh, in history to when the motor vehicle really got going, just prior to that period, and I'm sure the leader of New Zealand First will remember this well, um, the internal combustion engine hadn't really uh, gained the foothold uh, when electric vehicles, it was a real toss-up as to whether electric vehicles or the internal combustion engine would be the mode uh, of transport of choice. However, the uh, internal combustion engine won that race and, and hopefully the leader of, the, of New Zealand First um, brought the right vehicle at that time. But, uh, Mr Speaker, we, we have built our economy around the internal combustion engine and uh, we're in a, a period now of, of rapid change. I think for some uh, they would like things to change overnight, as uh, the previous speaker perhaps uh, was alluding to. But, Mr Speaker, Electric, electric vehicles require charging stations uh, at regular intervals, and we're only just getting to that point now. In fact, uh, in Kaikoura, uh, there are uh, two charging stations right in the middle of Kaikoura put in there not long before the earthquake, as it turns out, uh, and they're sitting there as part of Highway 1, and there will be more stations installed along Highway 1, which will make it much more practical for the use of electric vehicles. Because one of the issues that people face with electric vehicles is the anxiety over the range of those vehicles. And although most people's, uh, in fact, the average uh, distance that a vehicle of a, of a uh, driving a vehicle in a day is less than 30 kilometres, uh, people have this anxiety that they need to be able to drive uh, for several hundred kilometres and be able to f uh, fuel up or charge up and continue a journey. Uh, when they very infrequently take trips of that length. So it's a very interesting time that we're living in, where we are sitting here now waiting for this uh, revolution that's coming our way. But what comes first? Government uh, regulations have some uh, part to pay, uh, and this bill is part of that, so that we can allow the, the ground for the market to uh, work in the way that it will to get this across the line. Uh, and I see we had an e-day in Marlborough uh, a couple of months ago and it was fantastic to get along and see the electric cars that were available uh, on display that day, even electric lawnmowers, believe it or not. Uh, went a ride on electric lawnmower. I didn't think there was such a thing, but there is. Um, I wasn't quite so taken with that as I was with the little robotic one where you, uh, it does its own thing and you don't even have to go out and, and uh, sit on it, but, uh, which would be quite good. I'd have to say I'm trying to talk my wife into one. But, um, save me a job. But uh, electric vehicles uh, will come, but we need to get all those things in place. Uh, battery technology is coming a long way, but the latest vehicles, uh, each, each iteration that comes out, has that greater range, has that greater usability for users, but we need those charging stations along the way, uh, and there's a great group putting them in. I, I think there's been fantastic progress being made, and there'll be more in the near future. But I guess the big, uh, the big prize for us is heavy transport fuel, uh, which is actually a big thing uh, in terms of climate change. And as an executive member of GLOBE, uh, it's something I've um, turned my mind to quite a bit and how we might deal with that. Interestingly, in Norway, they have electric ships. Um, so I think we're a long way from that here in New Zealand. But anyway, Mr Speaker, I think this is a, a fantastic uh, bill and it's a great step great leadership shown by the government in this area and it will evolve in time and in a few years time we'll look back uh, and think uh, how quickly things have changed. So I commend this bill to the House. Members, the question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Uh, the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Energy innovation, electric vehicles and other matters amendment bill, second reading. Speaker. Point of order, Mika Whaititi. 